Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. So, Civil War Part 3. See, a big part of the problem is, when it really comes down, the people that are talking crap now, Joanna Reed saying, um, the Taliban, or the Republicans are worse than the Taliban, and the Republican wants to do to women what the Taliban did, and you can get on on that news station and talk all the shit you want. You should be the first one against the wall. I'm just going to be honest about it. The first one. Might prevent a civil war, actually. You have Joey Behar, Behar comparing Republicans to the Taliban. You have Ilhan Omar. These people are not going to be the ones fighting the war. They're just the ones talking shit. It's like that person when there's a schoolyard fight that stands off knowing they're not going to have to fight provoking the fight no republicans are not like the taliban now i i, I want to say the left are not nazis but they support the same rhetoric so and the same laws because now you need a vaccine passport also understand what goes along with that vaccine passport you also need to present your state issued id now, notice those are just in liberal cities. Even though I do believe a few months ago they were screaming about how racist the Georgia voting law was because to vote they wanted you to have ID. But now, to go into a restaurant, you need ID in liberal states. Isn't that ridiculous? Get out of these liberal states. Get out of these liberal cities. Because even though your state may be red, your city still might be blue. Both these city council people out of office. It's for people to, to, to share such rhetoric and saying that Republicans are like the Taliban. I'm looking at you, Joanne Reed and Joy Behar and Ilian Omar. Well, we all know she hates America. She really does. And how you can vote for a person like that if you love America and put them in office, I do not know. Actually, I do know. Let me explain it to you. The majority of her constituents, talking about Ilhan Omar in Minnesota, are Somalis. I've been to Somalia. It's a shit country. And hell, I think I know more about Somalia than uh, Ilhan Omar does. She hasn't been there since she was 11. I was there when I was a grown-ass man. It's a shit country. I wish we could have did more damage over there. But to equate Republicans with the Taliban, you're, you're asking for a war. And you're asking for a war with country boys. So you do understand the majority of your military is made up of country boys. It's just ridiculous. I sat here often and I ponder on it. And I'm just free-flowing here and I'm sharing thoughts with you. I ponder on it. What do these people want? They stand to make a lot of money from a war. They're all backed by Bill Gates and all these other billionaires who believe in reducing the population. Even though they all have kids. Their kids have kids. They didn't believe in reducing the population when it came to their own genetic pool, but they believe in it in yours. Think about that. We're all nothing to them. Just a bunch of mice running around who they can experiment on and play, toy around with because they have the money to do so. I know this isn't a coherent thought or a coherent video because we live in incoherent times. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know this. I'm going to be prepared for it. I want you to get prepared for it. If you're a like-minded individual, get prepared. Get prepared. Stock up your food. Stock up your ammo. Because honestly, I think it may be coming down to that. Hell, I'm watching videos on TV of the Taliban fire, flying our Blackhawks. And people are like, well, no, they don't have pilots and they can't. The, pl the helicopter pretty much flies itself. 
and they're flying them now. So what happens? We left fighter planes over there with the armaments on them. So what happens when you get a squadron of uh, fighter planes hit it into New York to take down New York? Beats me. I know they won't hit the Texas with that bullshit, but what happens? We did it to ourselves. Well, not we. Biden did it to us. I just don't know, people. It's an incoherent video, and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Because I'm trying to gather my thoughts, and I like to do it on video to share, share with you guys. But yeah, they're comparing conservatives to the Taliban. They compared the January 6th crap to Afghanistan. Really? You know, but when you're, you're, when you're preaching rhetoric like that, because guess what? Rashida Tlaib, Ilian Omar, J Joy Behar, Joy Reid are not going to pay the consequences for it. It's the people that believe in it. So if you think your life is worth their rhetoric, go along with it. You know what? Let's make this part of the annoyance campaign. Send this to one of your liberal friends, one of your liberal family members. Don't argue with them. Let me do the arguing for you. If you're willing to pay that price, not think about it this, right? This goes out to the liberals. I used to be a union officer. I was the American Federation of State County Municipal Employees Secretary of the Year. Of the year. At one point. Now I'm hard right. Think about that. If you're willing to pay that sacrifice, you're going to pay it against people like four-time combat veterans, firearms instructors, competitive shooters. Are you prepared for that? Send this to your liberal friends and family. I just wanted to think about it for a minute, but it really, when I heard it uh, a couple of days ago, it disturbed me, but I was in the midst of catching a flight back here to Washington so we can get the last of our stuff and get out of here. Um, so I got other things to do. The um, Afghanistan. You just left thousands of Americans in Afghanistan. So what do you think is going to happen when the Taliban starts beheading Americans on TV? Well, here's what's going to happen. Don Lemon's not going to show it to you. Andrew Cuomo, actually, he's on vacation, so he can't show it to you. They're not going to show it to you. It's not going to be on The View. Because Whoopi Goldberg and jo Joy Behar are pieces of shit. I said it. And who's that other black chick on there? She's definitely a piece of chick. And the Mexican chick with the heavy Spanish accent, she's definitely a piece of shit. <clears throat> it's time to start calling pieces of shit pieces of shit. And the sooner our, our liberal friends recognize it, the better off they'll be. But um, just want to put that thought out there. The left are full-blown Nazis. Only one way to deal with a Nazi... But like, subscribe, share, and as always, do what you got to do.